Hey everybody, so Dwarf Labs just dropped the Dwarf Mini. Now, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm going to just cover the main specs of this camera and let you guys know where you can order it. But we're going to jump into this because it's actually pretty exciting and something that I really didn't think they would actually release. But here we are. So the Dwarf Mini is basically a smaller version of the Dwarf 3 telescope. It's designed to take really nice images with very little effort. And it also has it where it can do EQ mode, which means that you can do longer exposures up to 90 seconds. The IMX662 sensor is a Sony Stereophys 2, which basically for layman speak is one of Sony's low light imaging sensors. If we really want to deep dive the specs on this camera, it's a 30 millimeter aperture, focal length of 150 millimeters, which gives an equivalent focal length of about 1016, which in comparison, my eight inch telescope is about 2000. So this is plenty of reach to image the sun and the moon and a lot of other uh, deep sky objects. Resolution wise, it is 1080p, which is a drop down from the 4K of the Dwarf 3. And that probably is the main disadvantage of this smart telescope over its larger predecessor. It also has a wide angle camera, which is, I find really good for getting those nice nightscape time lapses or trying to use it for terrestrial uses. It also comes with various shooting modes, such as photo, video, astro, burst, and time-lapse, similar to like the Dwarf 3, so you can use this for a lot of different applications. It just isn't a deep sky imaging smart telescope, which is really nice. Rounding out the specs, it has effectively a four hour battery life and it can be charged using USB-C. And it also has basically any Wi-Fi function that you could possibly think of in Wi-Fi protocols. And it comes with a built-in storage to save all your photos. In the box, you get the dwarf telescope, a solar filter, which you need to use if you're going to take pictures of the sun, a cleaning cloth for the lens in case you get it dirty, and a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. There also is a tripod that they sell as an optional addition, but generally any tripod with an adjustable head will work with this. Initial promo photos from the telescope look absolutely amazing, and it is available now for pre-order off the website, and it helps my channel if you order it through my affiliate link in the description. Thanks for watching.